Good morning. I'm an intelligence officer assigned to the Utah Air National Guard. This presentation is an update on recent world events involving China and the United States that may threaten the United States of America, its allies, and global stability. This presentation is a video addendum to the initial vi video presentation released March 2023 titled China Outcompeting the United States. If you appreciate this content, please hit the like button below, subscribe to this channel, and share it with your family and friends. This presentation is current as of June 21st, 2023, with a security designation of unclassified. All information was derived from unclassified open sources and documented in the notes section of each slide. Now let's look at the purpose of this brief. This brief is a summary of major events reported between April and June 2023. The desired learning objective for this presentation is increased awareness within the state of Utah and general U.S. population of increasing events highlighting the rising influence the People's Republic of China has over the cultural, economic, physical, and cybersecurity of the United States of America, its allies, and overall global stability. By the conclusion of this presentation, you may be surprised by the escalation in tensions between China and the United States that have been reported in just the past two months. Let's first look back by reviewing what led to tensions between Beijing and Washington started, starting to get heated. Over the summer of 2022, frictions between Washington and Beijing were growing amid China's support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In August of 2022, then U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan, challenging Beijing's principle that other countries should refrain from official ex exchanges with self-governing Taiwan which China claims as its own territory. Speaker Pelosi was the highest ranking U.S. official to visit Taiwan in 25 years. This resulted in China suspending regular contacts with the United States military. With contact between the United States military and Chinese military suspended, let's look at some recent hostilities instigated by the Chinese military against the United States. On Friday, May 26, 2023, a Chinese J-16 fighter jet dangerously intercepted a regularly scheduled safe and routine flight of a United States Air Force RC-135 operating in international airspace over the South China Sea. The Chinese fighter jet flew directly in front of the nose of the United States Air Force plane. The United States Air Force plane was forced to fly through the wake turbulence of the Chinese fighter jet. U.S. Pacific Command said that the Chinese pilot's behavior was unnecessarily aggressive. China accused the United States aircraft of deliberately intruding into a Chinese military training area. China says it owns the South China Sea virtually in its entirety, a claim not recognized internationally and in conflict with the Philippines, Vietnam, and Malaysia. Beijing continues to demand an end to U.S. surveillance flights near China-claimed territory. Spokesperson Mao Ning said, quote, The United States' provocative and dangerous moves are the root cause of maritime security issues. China urges the United States to stop such dangerous provocations. End of quote. Now let's look at an example of bullying by the Chinese Navy. On Saturday, June 3, 2023, Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy warship Luyang 3 132 overtook the American Aegis destroyer. Chung Hoon, and then veered across its bow at a distance of just 150 yards. The Chinese ship radioed, quote, move or there will be a collision, end of quote. The United States guided missile destroyer slowed to 10 knots to avoid collision. China claims that the United States Navy's efforts to ensure freedom of navigation are a provocation to China. China's defense minister said, Quote, the best way for the countries, especially the naval vessels and fighter jets of countries, not to do closing actions around other countries' territories. End of quote. China's ultimate goal with these aggressive actions is to push the United States military out so the Chinese military can dominate the region. Now let's look at an example of China bullying Taiwan. On Thursday, June 8, 2023, Taiwan activated its air defense system after reporting China's latest mass incursion of 37 Chinese military aircraft flying into Taiwan's air defense zone, some of which continued to fly into the Western Pacific. These included Chinese J-11 and J-16 fighter jets, as well as nuclear-capable H-6 bombers, 
flying into the southwestern corner of Taiwan. China, which views democratically governed Taiwan as its own territory, has over the past three years regularly flown its air force into the skies near the island. United States Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said, a war over Taiwan would be devastating and affect the global economy in ways we cannot imagine. Now let's look at an example of China bullying its neighbors. On Tuesday, June 6, 2023, South Korea and Japan scrambled fighter jets to intercept four Chinese and four Russian military aircraft, which included J-11 and J-16 fighter jets and nuclear-capable H-6 bombers that had entered South Korea's air defense identification zone in the south and east of the Korean Peninsula. The Chinese and Russian military aircraft then flew into the Sea of Japan, prompting Japan to launch its own fighters in response. China said this joint patrol with Russia was part of a cooperation plan, the sixth such exercise since 2019. This incident comes after defense ministers of South Korea, Japan, and the United States agreed to real-time data sharing on North Korean missile launches by the end of the year. Now let's see how, despite escalating tensions with the United States, China refuses to communicate with the United States leaders to prevent future conflict. In May of 2023, Calls by the United States military for dialogue with Chinese counterparts have gone unanswered. United States Indo-Pacific Commander Admiral John C. Aquilino said, quote, I've repeatedly requested to speak with my counterparts in the People's Liberation Army, end of quote, and that he is ready and willing to meet his Chinese counterparts. Admiral Aquilino warned President Xi Jinping that, quote, any attempt to take Taiwan by force would result in massive losses of blood and treasure for China. Mr. Xi should learn from the Ukraine fight that there is no such thing as a short war. I think he needs to understand that the global community can be pulled together quickly when they disagree with actions taken in that fashion." End of quote. China refuses to speak to the United States military leader assigned to their region. Let's see if China will talk with the United States Secretary of Defense. In early June 2023, China declined a meeting request from U.S. Secretary of Defense to meet with Chinese Defense Minister Li Shangfu in Singapore. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said he is deeply concerned by China's unwillingness to engage more seriously on military crisis management, warning that talks are key to avoiding conflict. He said that Washington will not stand for any coercion or bullying of its allies and partners by China. While assuring Beijing the United States remains committed to maintaining the status quo on Taiwan. A senior Chinese military official hit back saying, quote, the United States is responsible for a breakdown in dialogue by ramping up sanctions on Chinese officials and destabilizing the Asia Pacific with its provocative military presence. Now let's see if President Biden can get China to talk. By early June 2023, President Biden had been trying for months to get President Xi Jinping to take a phone call, to no avail. It's interesting to note that Xi has not visited President Biden in the United States, nor has President Biden visited Xi in China. President Biden has only had one sideline meeting with President Xi for three hours at a G20 summit in Bali in November of 2022. It probably hasn't helped their relationship that, as reported in April 2023, Xi Jinping has been courting Western European countries and driving a wedge between President Biden and his European allies. President Xi refuses to speak to President Biden, but he's willing to take a private meeting with a U.S. billionaire? June 14, 2023, China refuses to speak with the U.S. government. Meanwhile, Microsoft founder Bill Gates is set to meet Chinese President Xi Jinping on Friday, June 16th, during his visit to China. The meeting marks Xi Jinping's first meeting with a foreign private entrepreneur in recent years. Bill Gates is visiting China at a curious time. Last week, the Financial Times reported that Beijing-based Microsoft Research Asia, the tech giant's largest R&D outfit outside of the United States, is moving some of its top artificial intelligence talents from China to Vancouver to mitigate the impact of the increasingly strained relationship between China and the United States. So other than a U.S. billionaire, what talks have occurred recently between the United States government 
and China's diplomatic intelligence and military officials in order to prevent war. In May 2023, the highest level engagement between the United States and Chinese officials was held since the spy balloon incident in February. A meeting between U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and Chinese Minister of Foreign Affairs Wang Yi in Vienna. It was an attempt to put communications back on track. United States National Security Advisor Sullivan told Chinese Minister of Foreign Affairs Wang Yi that the United States and China are competitors, but that the United States does not seek conflict or confrontation. That same month, CIA Director William Burns flew to Beijing to emphasize the importance of maintaining open dialogue. Then, in June of 2023, United States Secretary of State Anthony Blinken met with Xi Jinping. However, he failed to reestablish military hotlines with China that were sought by the United States. China is resistant to direct hotlines that were in place between the U.S. and Soviet Union during the Cold War, believing they could embolden American troops to take provocative actions. Has the United States Secretary of State's visit to China helped ease tensions with Beijing? Let's take a look on the next slide. The day after Secretary of State Blinken traveled to Beijing in an effort to calm tensions, at a campaign event with California Governor Gavin Newsom, President Biden called President Xi Jinping a dictator. President Biden said, quote, the reason why Xi Jinping got very upset in terms of when I shot that balloon down with two boxcars full of spy equipment is he didn't know it was there, Biden said. That's a great embarrassment for dictators, he said, when they didn't know what happened, end of quote. China quickly hit back at the remarks, branding them, quote, extremely absurd and irresponsible and an open political provocation, end of quote. While the United States government is bu busy trying to get China to accept its phone calls, China is busy getting the upper hand on U.S. interests around the world, for example, in Europe. In June of 2023, a new report polling 16,000 residents in 11 European countries showed that majorities in every surveyed country want Europe to remain neutral in any conflict between the United States and China over Taiwan. French leader President Macron said, quote, the great risk Europe faces is that it gets caught up in crises that are not ours, including Taiwan, preventing Europe from building its strategic autonomy, adding that the continent should resist becoming, quote, America's followers, end of quote. Close to three quarters of Europeans, or 74%, now think the continent should cut its military dependence on the United States. Let's take a look at the Middle East, where the United States had spent so much blood and treasure over the last 20 years. As the Middle East has become less of a strategic priority for the United States, it has left a political and economic vacuum in the region that China is rushing to fill. China has been ramping up its economic, diplomatic, and military activities encouraged by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam. In June of 2023, the Saudi, Saudi capital played host to the largest ever Chinese Arab business gathering. Saudi officials spoke of integrating China into the Arab region, and Chinese executives said they stood ready to de-Americanize the world's top oil exporter. Quote, the time has come, in my view, for China to be a principal investment partner in the Arab world's development drive, end of quote, said by Saudi investment minister Khalid al-Fali in his keynote address. In April of 2023, it was reported that there was a clandestine network of Beijing-backed Canadian candidates in the Canadian federal elections. Beijing supported as many as 11 candidates in 2019 and 2021 federal elections, directing funds to them. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused China of trying to interfere and manipulate Canada's elections. In May of 2023, lead Canadian investigator David Johnson said the Canadian government had not ignored evidence of Chinese meddling, but that he recommended against an official public inquest. However, in June of 2023, it was reported that he resigned after it was revealed he belonged to a charitable foundation that took funds from China. China is trying to influence the U.S. neighbor to the north. Now let's see what China is up to with a U.S. neighbor to the south, Cuba. In June of 2023, it was reported that China has plans to build a military training facility in Cuba. 
This could lead to the stationing of Chinese troops in the waters just off the United States. The Wall Street Journal also reported an agreement establishing an electronic eavesdropping base in Cuba with the purpose of spying on American communications across the southeastern United States. Secretary of State Blinken said that he made it very clear to Beijing that the United States would have deep concerns about Chinese activity in Cuba. Now let's see what China has been up to within the borders of the United States since the Chinese spy balloon incident. In April of 2023, it was reported that China had undeclared police stations operating in New York City. The Justice Department charged 34 officers of China's National Police, who worked for the Chinese Ministry of Public Security, who harassed and silenced critics in the United States, and flooded an online video conference, screamed at and threatened Chinese dissidents in the United States who had been discussing democracy. Efforts of the People's Republic of China to export authoritarian methods to stifle free expression in the United States is a threat to America's democracy. In addition, in June of 2023, the United Kingdom ordered China to shut unofficial police stations in the United Kingdom. Now let's look at how China has been attacking U.S. businesses in China. In June of 2023, U.S. business firms Bain & Company the Mintz Group and Cap Vision had their Chinese offices raided, five employees arrested. All three companies were doing business gathering information on Chinese companies for U.S. investors. Chinese state TV aired a special report alleging without any evidence that the companies had lured Chinese citizens to spill state secrets. Quote, unfortunately, in that kind of environment, it's very difficult to operate a business when everything is viewed as a national security matter, and it looks as if anything you do could be considered spying. Let's transition to the economic impacts involving the United States and China. In 2023, Chinese economic activity hit a soft spot as rising interest rates and inflation curbed demand for Chinese exports in the United States and Europe. Hong Kong's equity markets had been flirting with bear territory as a result. China is also contending with worse than expected consumer spending, slower manufacturing, and weak home sales. Youth unemployment in China hit 20% in urban areas, a record high. This is bad news for U.S. and Western companies with major business exposure in China. And a number of S&P companies stand first to lose if the situation worsens. CEOs are taking notice of the increased risk to doing business in China. Let's learn more about how China is adapting to the threats to its own economy and still keep itself as the king of the global manufacturing and supply chain. By June of 2023, China's importance as a global sourcing hub has been coming under threat from U.S. de-risking efforts. China is now investing heavily in Mexico and augmenting their supply chains there to get around U.S. trade curbs into the American market. Chinese enterprises have poured $20 billion into Mexico-based projects. China pledges to defend its supply chain dominance with a new Chinese International Supply Chain Expo planned for this coming November. Tesla reported, reportedly demanded that Chinese suppliers set up plants in Mexico to support its proposed next-generation gigafactory there. As tensions rise and doing business with China becomes even more risky, let's see what one CEO warns about decoupling businesses from China. For months, U.S. and German lawmakers have called for a reduction in trade to cut dependency on China. However, CEO of German company Merck says, quote, when I hear politicians say we have to decouple, I don't think this is feasible. It will take 20 years to decouple. We are risking a global world that has brought well-being, more innovation, more collaboration. Dependencies between the powers are huge, and unraveling trade ties with China would come at great economic cost. End of quote. Globalization is banking on dialogue between China and the United States to ease tensions between Beijing and Western powers. Let's turn from the economy over to technology for a moment. In June of 2023, we learned previously how the popular app TikTok, used by so many American children, could expose the United States to clandestine, clandestine surveillance by the Chinese government. 
We have now learned from a witness how China does it. Former employee of ByteDance, which is TikTok's Beijing-based parent company, Yin Tao Yu outlined how the Chinese Communist Party accessed data of TikTok users on a broad scale and for political purposes against pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong in 2018. Chinese Communist Party officials, whom you described as part of a special committee with dedicated physical access to ByteDance's Beijing offices, used a so-called God credential to bypass any privacy protections the company may have otherwise applied to the TikTok data. Now let's look at how China is getting the upper hand in artificial intelligence. In June of 2023, China had initiated artificial intelligence regulation within China. In April, the Cyberspace Administration of China released a draft called, quote, Measures for the Management of Generative Artificial Intelligence Services, end of quote. According to Elon Musk, the United States is falling behind China and the European Union in deployment of artificial intelligence regulation. To date, there has been no serious consideration of a U.S. analog to the European Union Artificial Intelligence Act or any sweeping federal legislation to govern the use of artificial intelligence, nor is there any subst substantial state legislation in force. Let's switch back to military issues for a moment and how China is increasing its lethality to deter and or fight. In June of 2023, Beijing plays up the possibility of worsening ties with the United States. China says the United States' eagerness to engage in increased communication is an illusion. Aspen Institute in Washington, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency Director Jen Easterly said, quote, Beijing is making major investments in capabilities to sabotage the United States infrastructure, end of quote. She cautioned Americans need to be prepared for the likelihood that Beijing hackers will dodge U.S. defenses and cause damage in the physical world. Chinese hackers are all but certain to disrupt American critical infrastructure, such as pipelines and railways, in the event of a conflict with the United States, a senior U.S. cybersecurity official said. Let's look at China's military readiness amongst its female soldiers. In June of 2023, a video titled The Women of the Chinese Army was posted on Twitter and YouTube. The video demonstrates the military bearing and discipline among Chinese female soldiers. While China aggressively postures and prepares to fight and win against the United States military, let's look at how the Chinese military is advertising themselves to attract public support around the world. In June of 2023, Chinese propaganda on YouTube cast the People's Liberation Army as humanitarians. A two-minute video in English switches back and forth from animation to live footage. It's a cartoonish depiction of China's military as a saintly, selfless group of missionaries. The video frames the People's Liberation Army as a humanitarian force for global peace. Given China's recent hostile actions toward the United States, Western powers, cyberbullying, property theft, espionage, weaponization of space, and aggression toward its own neighbors in the region, it's quite entertaining to see the irony in this video. China's soft words, hostile actions, and malicious intent of world domination are clearly misaligned. In closing, let's finish up by discussing one possible reason why China is literally racing to achieve so many of its goals around the world in such a short amount of time. In June of 2023, it was reported that China last year recorded its lowest number of marriages since public records became available 37 years ago. Down 10.5% from the year before, this is a decade-long decline in matrimony since marriages peaked in 2013. This may be due to high unemployment and rising cost of living, as well as social norms and government regulations that make it challenging for unmarried couples to have children. The result is a falling birth rate in the Chinese population. Chinese population shrank for the first time in 60 years in 2022. This decline is projected to have a severe economic impact on the Chinese economy from their shrinking workforce and aging population. In closing, let's summarize the key takeaways from this presentation. China's government remains defiant in the face of United States 
Pacific Deterrence Initiative. The United States' efforts to improve communication are viewed by China as an illusion. Trust between the United States and Chinese government is pretty low. Chinese global military expansion is increasing, and Chinese global business expansion is increasing. President Xi is trying to address a global audience and is almost speaking past the United States. Potential weakening of the United States alliances in Europe and Middle East amid increased Chinese alliances. China's officials will often talk softly, even friendly, while acting aggressively to achieve long-term goals. President Xi told Secretary of State Blinken, quote, the world needs a generally stable U.S.-China relationship, end of quote. But the stability desperately sought by the United States, U.S. CEOs, and the globalized community is likely expected to now be on China's terms. All this is occurring simultaneous with political, economic, and cultural instability rising across the United States. It's alarming to think that all the information in this presentation was reported in just the last two months. Can you see the escalation in tensions developing around the world as China increasingly challenges the United States? Who is deterring who amidst this great power competition? The purpose of this presentation is to increase awareness within the state of Utah and general U.S. population as to the increasing number of events highlighting the rising influence the People's Republic of China has over the cultural, economic, physical, and cybersecurity of the United States of America, its allies, and overall global stability. If you found this content informative, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel, channel and share with family and friends. This presentation is current as of June 21st, 2023, with a security designation of unclassified. Thank you.